Hello? 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 How are you? Okay, so, uh, tell me all, what's happening? Mm -hmm. Can you take my name off YouTube? Ta take your what? My name off YouTube. Your name off YouTube, yes. Yeah, can you take my name off there please? Yes, I'll take it off, but I'm citing everything that's going on in Waitangi Marae with my title in there. It's serious. I'm making serious claims against the Crown and everybody's stuck to it. It's going into Westminster. Everything on Facebook YouTube is evidence for you and evidence for me and I'm, 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 I'm being serious that I'm holding the title in Waikato that's already gone through the lawyer at the present time that makes Ngāti Whātua and everything in Waitangi Marae fraudulent. So if you're stuck with what's going on with the government they're on notice from me now. It's deadly serious what I'm saying. <clears throat> you have to take me to court. Everyone has to take me to court because I'm still waiting to challenge everybody's title. I'm holding the titles to this country, Willie, and everybody knows it in England. I've got the original titles. And what's happening with the flag is wrong. That flag wasn't given to Maori. And it wasn't given to the Whakamidinga. It was given to those Manukau chiefs. Now, I'm speaking for the Manukau chiefs in Waikato and Hori Tikuri in Taheke. Those are 1823 British titles. That's a British flag. It's not a Maori flag. I'm, I'm telling you, everything that's on YouTube is stuck there. It's going to take a lawyer to get it off. I've got the best lawyer in this country and I'll have the best lawyers paid for by, by Morris. He's holding the deed titles for the whole of the Northern tribes and I'm holding all the titles for the rest of the country. Now if anybody wants to take their name off, you're going to have to take it to court. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Why, why put my name there in the first place? Because everybody's name is there. You fellas are involved with me, you've gone the other way. You fellas, you fellas went into Waitangi Marae, you're taking that flag and doing things with the flag that's not true. All the whakapapa is not true. It's not true. And all the whakapapa in, in the Waikato is not true. I'm, I'm making these statements with everybody's name in it. Everybody's name in it. The lawyers, the government, the, the runanga, everybody's name is in there. For them to challenge me and my title to this country. That the, the names are there for you to defend. My name's there too. Everybody's name is there. I'm talking about everybody who's using that flag. I'm taking everyone to court in Britain using that flag that's not for Maori. It wasn't given for Maori. I know everything about that flag and I know everything about the Whakamini. I've got all the documents. Everything is in my name. You fellows have been not in the Whakamini as long as I have. That's what I'm saying. You fellows, you fellows went ahead without me. No phone calls or anything and Morris is holding the deed titles for all those lands up there. I'm going back up there again and I'm spending a lot of time with him going over those titles. I'm going into the Maryland Court next week. I'll probably shut it down. I'm going to shut everything down, Willie. I'm serious. I'm serious. Your name is there because you're part of that Waitangi Marae Native Magistrate Court that I set up. I've set up 12 of those Native Magistrate Courts and they're lethal. They are British titles that I've been doing, that you fellows have been involved with, and you fellows have gone the other way with the flag. The British are watching you fellows, they're watching me too. Nothing's happening to me because I know what I'm doing. I've been in it long enough, I've got all the documents 
to support every single thing I say online. On YouTube, there's 1,537 videos to block anybody out. That's why I put it there, buddy. I put it there because it's fact information to save this country. You know they're going to sign the TPPA on Saturday? This country's gone. And the Queen's coming here with the whakamininga that you fellows are in and the Navy to sign this country away. And I'm there to stop it. You know why? Because you fellows got no title to Britain to be here on these lands. You said to me that the flag was on the sea. I'm using the, the land flag. The, that, that flag was given on the land on Waitangi Marae. That ship doesn't belong to Maori. It belongs to these paramount chiefs, the Manukau's and Horitukuri. I know because I got all the information out of, <coughs> out of uh, uh, Morris Baker. He's got all those titles and I know I can read them. Now, nobody else has got any of those titles. I'm using those to save this country. You fellows don't know that those 11 countries that are signing TPPA is going to take this country over. If I don't do anything, it's going to go. It's that, that's how bad it is. The Maori themselves don't realise that they're being used, and that's what I'm putting in for us. Named. Everybody's name is there. Morris's name is there. He's on the videos. Everybody's not frightened to be on videos to state a truth, fact. In the end, it'll go back to the very people that are there, yourselves and everybody, but the title is wrong. That's why I've been carrying that bag around for all these years in the Whakamininga. I'm in the Whakamininga, the real one. For all these years, the Confederation of Chiefs, I've got all their titles to all those people who've died. You see, Willie, I know what I'm doing. I'm here for this country. I'm not here for myself. I haven't made a brass Raju penny yet. I'm only there for the right reasons. That's why. Now, the lawyers, the judges, the Prime Minister, their names are all on these videos and they can't take them off. No one can take these names off. Impossible. Because they're there for a reason. It's not Mary's fault, it's the ones that are running the business. Willie, really, it's only business that's ruining it for Mary. The Maryland Court, I'm going in there up in Whangarei next week to sort them out with Morris. He's learning a lot from me. I spent a lot of time over three weeks up there and I'm going back up again. I haven't finished yet with all those titles. And the Waikato title, the Manukau titles, they've all been switched from the original Te Rewaikato Wharehe Manukau title into Ngāti Whātua. It's Ngāti Whātua tribe that belongs to the Queen and the Crown Corporations, not to Māori. So I'm saying that flag, Willie, I know all the story of that flag. Everybody's watching me on YouTube and around the world. They know what it is. That flag is going to save Britain and save this whole world and Maori because they don't know what to do with it. And that's, what I, that's all I have to say, Willie, because everybody is waiting to see what's going to happen. But the, the fact is, it's not your fault. It's the fault of the Runanga and the Iwi trustees that have switched the titles out of the original deeds. And I'm going back to put the deeds straight into the court. Morris has got the money to pay for everything, all the lawyer's fees, for me. That's what I've been lacking all these years. Nobody would help me to pay for the fees. He's come along and that's why he's pulled out away from everybody. And I know Bundy's pulled out as well because he knows it's going to go the other way. The Crown is only interested in itself and its own private business. They're not worried about Maori. They're using that flag and I'm going to take them out. I'm going to take them out using that flag because that flag doesn't belong to them either. It doesn't not belong to anybody. It belongs to the Paramount Chiefs, not the Whakaminia. The Whakaminia made the flag but they haven't got the contract. I'm holding the contracts with he. For all the wealth in the world made from those flags, I'm holding it here. I've been entrusted with it 
by all those old chiefs that have gone. Mohi Manika, all those other ones, Delwi Hume, I've got all their titles here. And I've got Morris's titles now. Everybody down in South Island, I've got their titles as well. Because I'm waiting for the time when they wake up to what's happened with that flag. The flag has made a lot of money for the Crown Corporation's private business. Iwi, leaders, their trusts, and the government itself. And I'm taking them out online. I'm, I'm doing trial on, on, on media, social media, to pull everybody in. You see? Because that's how it works. I'm only in it for the business, of corporate business, Willie. I'm, 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 I'm in the real estate side of bank, bank, bank fraud and all the rest of it. I'm going to take Cook Street soon. Now, the lawyer is just waiting for me. And that's where it's going to start. As soon as I take Cook Street, I'll take the whole country. You watch what happens to me. And that's what's going to happen. That's, I'm doing it all by myself, really, because I've been there too long. I know how it all works, but I've been ignored. And so the consequences of ignoring me is that it's going to be left to either me or the Crown to save this country. That's all I can say, Willie. It's, it's, everything's gone. It's been going like that for a long time. I've put everything, everybody's name online. It's too many things to take off. Your name and everybody else's name gone right through the whole system and it's not going to be as though it's going to take you out. No, it's put there because the Crown is taking us over. The TPPA is just about to be signed on Saturday, the 3rd of March, and I've only got one more day to put notice on them. That's, that's, that's serious. That's as serious as it can get. And nobody, nobody's helping me to see sense in our, our people uh, 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 losing everything. That's, that's all I have to say, Willie, because it's too much for me to go right back through and take your name out because everybody's name is in there. I'm, I'm talking the real truth about what has happened to this country and why it's slipping away. And I don't, I'm, I'm having my last go at, at trying to do something positive. And I, uh, the more I look at it, the more I can see Maori has been hoodwinked and they can't see how that was possible. I'm not in it for myself, Willie. Really. I'm in it to help people understand what has happened. And I've got everything in my hands. The pound note, the flag, the whole, I'm legalising it, Willie. That flag's got no legal effect in it, nothing at all. The government has put some legal effect in it for themselves, but not for Maori. And I'm putting the legal effect in it for what it's supposed to be, for Paramount Chiefs. And I'm only going on three Paramount Chiefs that I know. There are other Paramount Chiefs. They can talk for themselves, but I'm talking for the Manukau's. The real Manukau's, not Moe Manukau, he was on the fraud side. He's on the fraud side. And um, so I'm, 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 I'm doing Te Rewaikato Wharehere Manukau and Rewharef Manukau and Hori Tukuri, those three chiefs. That's all I needed to do because they got the British titles to save this country from being taken over. The Rothschild banks, the Queen is coming here next uh, this month. She'll be here on the 16th. There's going to be some meeting of some sort. Hillary Clinton is coming here. And Obama, Barack Obama, the biggest crooks in the world, is coming here because it's an easy playing field with Maoris. The Maori and the Iwi words are inventions of the Crown Corporations, New South Wales and New Zealand governments. It's got nothing to do with Maori. They can't do anything about it because those are copyright patent titles and I'm using British titles to go and knock them out. I'm knock them out by myself, uh, Woody, because I've got my head on the block. I'm, I'm in a high risk area of getting taken out myself doing something to save this land. I've been saying that for a long time, I'm going to take this country back and take everything over back to where it should be. The Marae in, in Cambridge, 
uh, at uh, um, Pohara Marae in, in Arapuni. That's my father-in-law, Peter Mihinui. That's my father-in-law. I'm going to have to save that and take it off to Ainui. They stole that title of Te Rewaikato Wharehere in Manukau that made the deal with King George IV. That contract went into King William and that flag. That flag has come out of Te Rewaikato in Arapuni, Cambridge, to Cambridge, England. See, nobody knows that. I've kept that all from Mohi Manukau and he was telling a story of the Confederation. That's why it didn't work. The four tribes didn't work because Ngāpui, just as well, they didn't listen to Ngāti Whātua because Ngāti Whātua is a crown concept and it was like ISIS in America, the same concept of ISIS to fight against Ngāpui. I'm on Ngāpui side, that's why I've gone with Morris because the Ngāpui put the flag together but they didn't have the contract. The Mohi Manukau had the contract and that's what I took off him. I took that contract off him and put it on the right Manukau's in uh, Waikato. You see, that, that's what I'm doing, Willie. I'm, I'm trying to, this is the last ditch effort I'm, I'm, I'm making this, this week and next week. I've been doing a lot of work and I'm just about uh, got my health no good over it. Um, su suffering quite a bit from it, uh, uh, doing doing all these things in front of everybody. There's just too much. I've got too much stuff out there now, Willie, really, uh, because no one's challenged it yet. No one's taking me to court. No one. No one's doing anything. Just well, I got no money. Um, so, um, but I'm saying um, you, you'll have to have a look at what I'm saying uh, about that flag. The flag, the, the government in Wellington is using that flag. As long as they got Maoris there, they'll use it because they legislated out of off Maori and for themselves. They, they actually own a Maori uh, and everything um, uh, uh, with that tribe. And uh, the, sooner, the sooner our people see what has happened to get the country back, then they'll just carry on going. They'll, they'll just peel the whole lot off till they got it. They're just about there now with the TPPA. The 11 states, countries will be run by, um, by, by those new governments, like the EU Parliament. This one here is, is, is going to take the whole Pacific out. We won't be able to do anything. Uh, they'll just run right over, so, like how they're shutting down Westminster. When Westminster goes, this flag is useless. I'm making the flag legal, really, really, the pound note legal. It's going through the top lawyer at the moment. It's just waiting. I'm supposed to be in there today. But I'm going to give myself another couple of days because of the TPPA uh, signing. And, and I'm going next Monday, Tuesday. And then I'm back up north in, in the, the Maryland court, up in front of Ray. I'm going back, back in there to square these titles out. It, 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 it's got to be done for us to have anything to do with the titles or anything on the land because they've got control. They've got control of the place, will you? That's what I'm saying. And, and, and if you're saying your name is there, take it off. It's a big job for me to take it off because everybody else's name is there. It's there for a reason. And it's easy for me to change my mind about it and square everything out once I get Cook Street. It's all going to change. All the things I say will disappear. Uh, just doing it to get title and to alert everybody of what the Crown is doing without the seal of the Queen, without the seal of Westminster. She, they've got no seal. She's coming here through the back door to her Maori people to have one more crack at it and the New World Order will step in. I've been watching this all every day, Willie. I'm watching what's happening in the news every day. And that's how I make my, my, my stories up online. I'm making a big, I'm putting a big statement out soon. It's about 25 pages. This is the one that's going to knock them out. It'll be on online tomorrow with the videos and um, and, and the letter to Jacinda Ardern. This is the one that's getting apostolized. When they apostolize this document, Willie, it's real. I can do what I like because there's no one has the title. That's why 
It don't feel bad, just feel good. Okay, wait. Bye. Thanks for the call. Well, that's Woody. Telling me to take his name off social media. No, it's stuck there. That's what the lawyer said to me, take their names off. I said, no, it's stuck there. That's what the Freemason says. We want all that stuff back from you, John. I said, no. I'm, 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 I'm going to hold on to it because I need it. The Freemason stuff, I need it. Everything I put online, I need them. I'll talk about people who are good and talk about people who are bad. And talk about people who are caught up in a riffraff scam. I do that to wake people up. So today, it's the 1st of March 2018, on this Monday. I'm just putting these rest of these documents together. I'll, I'll, I'll put them on the camera. What I'm doing here. Yep. This is the end bit I'm finishing off for tomorrow. I'll we'll go backwards in it. The four videos I just put on YouTube, online, on Facebook, are here. And the debtor's notice, note here, the pound note, 970 million trillion trillion pound note to Jacinda Ardern, her government, the Queen, and Rothschild Banks, Obama, Hillary Clinton, the whole lot of them under the Queen's Crown Corporations. And that's King Ernest Augustus, the fifth reigning monarch of Britain, UK, with the eight-point star here, and the eight-point star there, on that flag. This is the flag of kings. The king's flag, and I'm the surrogate king, to speak for the kings, until this man gets put in, I'll put him in to Westminster as a contract to the kings. So I'm citing, as you can see, cited all the things that are going on in this government and what I'm citing against them. Okay, so this is... Um, Going backwards into their actual words of Nadi Fatua tribe, the Crown Corporation is looking in the mirror at themselves, settling themselves in their whakapapa here, that's crooked. I just said to Willie, I'm doing this for a reason, not for myself. And I think he understood that they made a big mistake. They made a huge mistake leaving me out and ignore me and thinking they can do it. Oh, bad mistake, man. Big fat mistake. Oh, I've got a video running. So we're going through this backwards into statements made by Nati Fatua. I'm citing them, as you can see, cited. I'm putting these allegations against Nati Fatua, the Crown Corporation, Jacinda's government's business <coughs> tribe. This is their tribe that I'm ha having up. I'm having them up for fraudulent operations in government with this Maori Iwi trustees that are settling themselves as if it looks real. So all that whakapapa has come out of Te Rawaikato Wharehehe in Manukau, female name, Te Rawaikato. They've stolen his name and turned it into a female, yes. then made their, all their whakapapa come out of that to claim the Waikato title, I'm claiming it back. So I'm putting the flag there of Admiralty of King William, the eight point star. This flag here, I'm making legal, because no one can do anything about it, because I'm in contract with the King, as it was, as it still is now, those are the offences there. <coughs> back we go. This is to a Jacinda Ardern tomorrow, in this here of 
King George IV and King George, King William IV, and the defaulted contract documents here and regulations to go with it. And there's Winston Peters and Jacinda Ardern, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, Deputy Winston Peters, TPPA 11, is a threat of treason against us. They're just about to sign this country away and they haven't got this title I'm holding on to. They're mischievous. There's Te Rawaikato Wharehere Here Manakao and the Punga Punga Marae in Aratuni and the rock here memorial next to Mangatauturi Mountain that's been stolen. Those thugs and pirates in Ngāti Whātua, in Ngāti Whātua Auraki, in Kaipara, and Ngāti Whātua, uh, um, Ngāti Whātua or Kaipara, in Kaipara, and Ngāti Whātua or Auraki in downtown Auckland, their main business. They stole this man's first name, Tirawakato, and turned it into a female to make all their whakapapa for their treaty claims to make money out of. And I've caught them out. And these ones are liable, a trillion pounds bounty on their heads, everyone's heads in this country has got a trillion pounds on their birth certificate bounty. There's Mangatauturi Mountain there, and the Marae is just down this way a little bit on the east side of this hill. And Tainui is the mischief iwi runanga that's pinched, stolen, to the Waikato's title. I'm going to take it right off them. I'm forcing them into court in the High Court of Admiralty in London. They're going in there, they're going to go there themselves, each and every one of them, pulled out. I'm going to string them out in the open, either hang them or fire them into prison for doing this to my ancestors in Pohara, that's what they put, Pohara on the marae, the Pupunga, Punga Punga marae. They put that, that name on to change the old titles. So this is me coming along here and the signatures and the stamps to go in here for the lawyer to sign the apostoly of these statements I'm making. Okay, I've, I've just got to put the regulations the laws I'm using on default contracts on the end of this. And that's it, okay? So that's what I wanted to say for now because I've changed the documents around and they got lost. So I had to start all over again. I'll just whack that one together so I can get it out tomorrow. I'll get it out tomorrow before the third the day of signing of the TPPA. I'm warning you people on the TPPA, the state countries, that you know, there's 970 million trillion trillion bounty per note on your head and a single trillion pound note on your head. And your queen, Elizabeth II, second, and every, everybody else is going to have to pay it. All of you elite people have to pay this bill because I'm speaking for the king that got you on those ships, those luxury ships, those luxury lands, those luxury homes and everything on the land. You are now tenants of the King of Britain, UK, Hanover, King Ernest Augustus, our oath of office in Westminster, and us, the paramount prince of our ten New Zealand, the Pacific Islands, and the Commonwealth countries of the world, and 250 countries with this flag. I'm legalising these documents next week. I'm going to the Maryland court next week to sort them out. And their titles are fraudulent. So I'm just going to turn the video on here and take a little dive into sleep because I'm over time today. The speed point I'm looking for a lost document. Give my information to him that he don't know. That's what he said. I don't know anything about this guy. I'm going to pay him for me giving him valuable information worth trillions for me to get a seal of him so they can put my seal on top of his head and this guy here and for the king. Nobody talks for the king. Just me. Okay? As his contract business partner. And this is the receipt for that contract with King George IV, the brother of King William IV. 1834, declaration of the war flag third party of our contract. That's what's happened here. Okay, so that's what I want to do. I'll show you that bit. 
But uh, I, I'm, I think I'll just go back to this document and have a little read of what I just wrote. And I'm making these statements. I'll go back and read what I'm saying to Jacinda Ardern. I'll, I'll at least say some of it. That's just the part for the lawyer to sign and to stamp. And then it comes into all this other bit where my executive and everything. There's stories about myself. And Morris Baker and myself. You see, Willie is a little worried with what I'm writing. I can't help it because I write things when I'm really upset. It'll all come out in the open and it stays there. So I'm just saying, here's Winston Peters. I'll start from here. The actual commercial landowner of this country is that one man there. He's the one that saved this country from being taken completely over. He at least put a mortgage lien on it with King William IV, uh, King George IV, sorry, in the normal fashion of corporates. It was good then, but until the Queen got it, then it went all pear-shaped with these two here, and all the fraudulent people came after that. Mangatauturi Mountain Pass Site Arapuni, Waikato River District Pohara, Punga Punga Marae, Paramount Chief Te Rawaikato Wharehere in Manukau of Cambridge, New Zealand. So I won't read that bit. I'm just starting from this mountain where the title of New Zealand is. It's this rock here. That's the memorial rock to the mountain that they're not talking about. Peter Mehinui's house was behind that one next to the rock and they shifted it. Tainui shifted the damn thing. I'm going to shift the bloody thing back and make a new one. I'm going to fix that house up to make it the best looking house out. <coughs> it has its place. It was put there for a reason. For Ani Kahaki Wano, son-in-law of Peter and Wai Mihinui homestead on his ancestors, Marae, Paramount Chief Executor, Maui Crown Rock Memorial, Punga Punga Moriori Manukau Trust. Declaration of War on New Zealand Crown third party financial threats against Maui Crown. We're the second party to the British Royal Navy. And this Navy in New Zealand is fraudulent with these two and their legacy of fraud and corruption all the way through the years. And these ones have picked up the tab for the bill. Prime Minister, New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Dern, Deputy with Winston Peters, TPPA 11 is a threat of treason against us. We have the legal right to arrest you, charge for treason before you sign the TPPA 11 deal. As this is a document I put together with these legal definitions of defaulted contract uh, with these two and all the other ministers that have left they're going to get the bill as well. Everyone that's been involved with the legacy of fraud and corruption of the Queen and her royal family is going to get the bill. This is our partner right here, Sir Philip Jones of the British Royal Navy. I've written to him, he hasn't answered. So, we have the right of King's rule, Emperor over anybody and including him because we're in contract with this guy, King Ernest Augustus. He's the Dutchman that's got all the ancestral history of succession to his bloodlines. Rules and regulations, this is of the judge and the surrogate king. Definition of surrogate king, captain of the ship who I am. We claim to hold a commercial land ownership British title to New Zealand country while you have no seal, I'm talking to Jacinda Ardern, of Westminster Parliament, no seal of the Queen Elizabeth II, 
Crown Coronation, no clear title to New Zealand country, to be making deals with 10 other country states, we state clearly you are committing grand treason, singly li as liable in your own capacity of legal and fraud and corruption. We forbid you to sign any trade deal with any country without refuting our paramount chief's title to which your failure to respond shall constitute the use of our King William the Fourth, eighteen William, William the Fourth, eighteen thirty four flag declaration of war against you, single out, bounty on your natural names and surnames, heads, and that of your part as a corporate pirate person, accessory to the corrupted John Key Panama Papers scam fraud, Paradise Papers fraud, Clinton Foundation fraud, and in legacy of fraud committed by other corrupted practices of your New Zealand Crown Corporations, trusts involving your invented Ngāti Whātua Iwi Māori Crown Corporate Trust business. We prove beyond a doubt manufactured by your New South Wales New Zealand Crown Corporate Government for your own private commercial trading bank financial investment interests. I claim you defrauded the public of New Zealand and three Paramount Chiefs commercial landowners, two party, three kings, emperors, partnership, financial, land bank, trade, investment interests. We have the legal right to arrest you, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, Queen Elizabeth II, Governor General of New Zealand, Patsy Reddy, Chief Justice Sean Elias, Attorney General Chris Ferguson, and any of the Crown Corporation agents linked to the scam Iwi Maori Crown Ngāti Whātua Trust. Tribe invented by your own Maori and Iwi patented names. Whakapapa, fraud tribe to deceive the public of New Zealand, made money from the fraud operations I have caught you all out, reported to the British Royal Navy military for record, for the record you are committing treason and cited offences below. Cited, the unconstitutional government, New Zealand government, New Zealand colonial government committed these crime acts Crimes by all the New Zealand Judicial Enforcement Agencies listed below, thereof a direct threat upon our Moai Crown, Federal State, British Dual Nations, King's Flag State Government, Commercial Landowners, Trading Bank Flag Sovereign Authority, Financial Investment Security and Economic Land Development Interests for your own foreign private commercial bank security of investment interests. The original British native land title contract remains with Paramount Chief Tira Waikato Whareha in Manukau of Mangatauteri Mountain in Cambridge on his Pungapunga Marae Rock Memorial to his Pungapunga Hapu of his Waikato Tribe's Sale and Purchase Agreement with King George IV for his New Zealand country land deal to the Three Kings Emperors King George IV in 1823 the transfer of Crown estate land to his brother King William the Fourth under his eighteen thirty four declaration of war, state of emergency, trading bank, creditors flag, sovereign authority, law jurisdiction. The legal right of Moai Crown, King William IV Trust to seize back the native Paramount Chiefs New Zealand Pacific Islands ancestral inheritance land. As a consequence of the criminal offences listed herein, committed by the pretend government of New South Wales and New Zealand, linked to Iwi Maori Crown Corporations, their private stolen land by Crown Agents, Rothschild Banks, Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth II Monarch, Church and State Royal Families. Third party manipulation and tampering of our Paramount Chiefs Two Party Partnership private contract. With King William III, St. Patrick Eight Point Star Municipalities Act, 1694 Bank of England Act, 1694 and Power Note Act 1694, Coins and Mint Act 1694, Creditors Act 1694, King William IV 1834 Declaration of War, Commercial Trading Bank, British Military Protectorate, King's Empress Ruling Authority, Eight Point Star of St. Patrick Church of Belfast, Northern Ireland, Northern Ireland, UK, for King's Royal Revenues Collection of Ground, Lease, Lands, Rents, Rates, Fines, Administration of the Three Kings Conquered and or seas lands of pirates of the high seas of Admonty back into these three kings and three paramount chiefs possession by defaulted contracts or acts of war. Threat of bank investment corruption and fraud against the Crown Corporation's agents, the present 
Paramount Chiefs named the law-breaking offenders on social media and or directly notified in person at their business address or family home as served not affected by the Limitation Act of time of offence to time of a conviction is closed in our three chiefs, three king private contract. Cited, these are criminal acts penit perpetrated by the unconstitutional New South Wales Australian New Zealand government and all the judicial enforcement agencies thereof upon the people of this nation, state, country and its counterpart Australian people include but not limited to the following. Treason, economic terrorism, fraud and deception, conspiracy to commit unlawful acts, murder, kidnapping, theft, intimidation, crimes against humanity, crimes against the environment, enslavement, wrongful arrest and conviction, unlawful seizure of lands and public possession, TPPA, threat on our Pacific states, seabed titles, Queen Elizabeth II, conflict of third-party party, third interests. Cited as from 0001 hours on the 28th day of June 2002, our Parliament, Paramount Chiefs of Aote New Zealand and Pacific Islands, Maui Crown, Native Government Nation was at war with New Zealand corporations. We, the Paramount Chiefs' successors, swear our oath to three kings, William III, Fourth and George the Fourth and three Paramount Chiefs, Te Rewaikato, Wharehere in Manukau, Rewhere from Manukau and Hori Te Kuri of Taheke. New South Wales and New Zealand Iwi Maori Crown Ngāti Whātua corrupted the whakapapa of Paramount Chief Te Rewaikato, Wharehere in Manukau and his pōhara Pungapunga Marae and his Mangatauturi Pā. Cited, Te Rewaikato name is used in Ngāti Whātua Iwi Maori Crown Corporation's fraud manufactured Whakapapa as a woman and wife of first husband Mahanga and second husband Ripiro for the fabricated Iwi Maori 1840 Treaty of Waitangi Native Title CT Land Title Claims. The Crown New Zealand, not British Crown. We expect to hold your Crown Corporations, Queen Elizabeth II, Iwi Maori fraudsters in a Grand Theft Land Title Fraud Trial if you fail to refute this publicly notified claim against all your parliament as pirate fraud thugs. Cited New South Wales, New Zealand, Crown, Ngāti Whātua Trust Iwi created to defraud the public, the paramount chiefs and citizens of New Zealand using stolen identity male line dominant paramount chief Te Rewaikato as a female wife of two Ngāti Whātua Iwi chiefs Mahanga and Ripiro. So the whakapapa goes on here. And on and on it goes, cite, cited, this proves the stolen Punga Punga Mara Hapu Whakapapa of Paramount Tirawakato Wharehere Hele Manukau Chief's first name and his Whakapapa were comp compromised illegally and unlawfully by the Iwi Maori Crown Corporation's private interest business for their self interest and not the security investment interests of all New Zealanders. Hence, our legal authority reason to seize back his name his titles and whakapapa back into the Moriori Punga Punga Hapu First Nations native inhabitants. This one native chief signed a commercial land ownership title transfer of New Zealand native country to King George IV in 1823 period to reign 1820-1830 under the British Crown Empress Land Patent creator of security investment in instruments using lands to borrow money from the Three Kings Bank of England, the acts of King William III, St. Patrick's Eight Point Star that we carry on our King William IV commercial contract flag in a private two party partnership private contract of Admiralty Magistrate Court military protection of our new business in a continuity of sovereignty King's contracts. So that's all I want to say there. It carries on going for some time up to the end. Have of um, I'm just trying to see how many pages, but I've got a little bit more to go on the end of that. I've said enough for the night, um, and the uh, regulations I've got to put on the end here. I've got, to, I've got to pick them up and put it in. That's for my position as a surrogate king, the authority of using that against the crown corporations. Trusts, and that's how it ends.
I'll just put that in the end there and that will be that's 25 pages it should work out about 30 pages altogether so thank you very much people I just have one more little word before I call it a night this is a notice to Jacinda Ardern Prime Minister of New Zealand I was just talking to Willie Pater he's in the um, Whakamininga, the brand new Whakamininga, not the old one, the new one, of people who haven't got the inside information to stack up behind what they're claiming as a Whakamininga of today without the titles. They, none of them have got any titles. They're all here. I've held on to them for the old people in the real Whakamania. And it wasn't the one that they're in. Those people that are in it, I've never seen them before. And if I sat down with them, they wouldn't have a clue of the meaning of this flag. They're holding on to the flag. I know Willie's a little worried now uh, about what the flag means. What they have done is too late. They have made a deal with the government, now they're liable. They didn't think about that when I was trying to tell them that I'm holding a certain amount of power on that threat. And so they're not to know that because they weren't brought up with it as long as I have. They don't know commercial contracts construct contracts and bank broking business and land transfer titles that would never clue. So Willie, your name's on all my videos, not all of them but some of them. I'm making big statements because of what you're doing. What you're doing with what I've told you. I've told you a lot, but teaching you all is like little bits dropped here and dropped there. I'm holding the key for the whole lot, and you people have gone ahead without me. There is a consequence of that bullying. That consequence is the British can drop these pound notes on your head or playing around with this flag as third party. You have no contract with the flag. You fly it around as much as you like. It's got no legal effect. None at all. Because the government that you've just gone with legislated it out for themselves. They're stuck with it and now you're stuck with it. They get the bill, you get the bill. That's how it works. When you're in business, you're running a business, I'm running a business, you're in a business with the Whakamininga, it's a business. It's not about Whakapapa. When you're playing around with the government in Marais, like that, when they're talking business and dressed up, they're talking commercial trading, bank business. And that's the part, sorry to say, you haven't learnt how that works for you or against you. You either know or you don't. So, because all of you people left me, saw me get strung up by those mongrels on Tilly Marae, brainless buggers, I've got the title to teach him to Tilly Marae and Waitangi Marae, I've got the titles here. You guys don't know. I've been years at all of that. I've gathered up all the information before the old people die because they didn't trust their own people, especially Mohi Manukau, didn't trust his family. He left all his trust in me as his executor. Now, just said I do. Take notice on this video. I've done four other ones directed to you. Tomorrow I'm going to send you what I've just read out, parts of it, for you, 
to look at, to respond, because if you don't respond tomorrow, and those other people I've just said, Sean Elias, Chief Justice, the Governor General, Patsy Reddy, Chris Ferguson, Attorney General, Winston Peters, Deputy Prime Minister, you, Prime Minister, Jacinda Ardern, we got a lot to learn about native titles and how you got on these lands. You're sitting on it as occupation titles. I can take them away from you. You'll have to find somewhere else to go, if I say so, if you can't refute what I'm saying. You are ignoring me no more. And getting these out to people, they get to see it first before the lawyer and the government. It's too late because it's discovered. It's discovered and it just waits for seal to go on it because the British are watching you, watching me as well, to see who's going to make a fatal mistake. I'm here for the British and I'm here for all the King's common law people of the world. There are a lot of people waiting for me. I can just about go into that government and run it and run it all myself with digital robots and do a better job myself because I've got a lot of practice of running a lot of things because I don't trust anybody to do it. Okay? So, be warned. Don't sign the TPPA agreement because you're in breach of the British land laws. This country here is still on the British title. You haven't settled your treaty settlements with yourself in the mirror. You're settling with your own self-Maori tribe and your own self-interests. defrauded the public on New Zealand. You have to deny what I'm saying, Jacinda Ardern. You are the legacy of John Key that's run away and think he's going to get away with fraud. No, there's a bounty on his head. Someone's going to get paid handsomely to go and get him. And it'll be a law officer going to get him and strip him of everything. Every single thing. That's the way it is. The King's way of doing business is he made all the laws, he made all the rules, and you broke them. He came on this land under a king's title. You get off this land under a king's title. There's no one speaking for the king but me. And that's all the rest of it. Don't anyone tell me what to do, will you? When I write things, it sticks. Because the only way you're going to get your name off is to go to the highest court in this world in Westminster. Admiralty, Court Martial Law. That's where I'm at. Online, digital. You have to go there. I don't have to. You can run things from anywhere and hold these titles. So, Jacinda Ardern, Saturday, is the day for signing the TPPA agreement. I'm warning you, you can be hung under the King William IV Hanging and Chains Act. Just be warned, because I can use that on you. I can use any...